just wanted to record this quick little video to show you how to find the fractions for the math map and be able to print those off. So when you log into CC Connected, you'll come over to Learning Center. And as long as you have paid your tuition for the year, you will be able to see week seven. If you can't see week seven, then you'll need to pay your tuition or talk to your director because it may be that they just haven't marked you as paid. And then you will be able to get to the companion. So you can either click on week seven for your level. You could also type companion into the search, or you could go over here to all types and hit interactive tutorial since it's the only interactive tutorial and then click on that link. And when it opens up, I always launch it into full screen because it just makes it easier to go through. And then um, you can look at these front things if you haven't done that yet, or you can go straight up here to the little tab in the right corner and you can see how it opens up like a book page and it takes you to the first page. So when you come here, you can see the, the compass or what they used to call the compass and you come over here to, um, oh, not complex, sorry, we're on fractions and you work your way down here to week one on X and Hilo and just click that when it highlights and this is week one. So it says click here to download and you'll just click that link and the PDF will immediately download. And then when you're done with that, you go back Oh, maybe the back button isn't the best because it took me back all the way to this page. But And you have to go and do week two, same process, click here to download. Oh, look, click here to return to the home page. Okay, I, my screen just wasn't big enough to see that. And then you can go through and keep doing the additional weeks. Now, I went through and did all the weeks, and then I had weeks one through 14. Actually, I didn't do week one. So I have weeks two and 14 put into a, a binder for my kiddo. It's not a binder, I did it as a spiral bound. And then I have weeks 16 through 28 because of course weeks 15 and 30 are assessments, so there's really nothing on those pages. Same with seeing the unseen, it's just blank pages for them to write their notes for seeing the unseen and their doodles and all that fun stuff. So there isn't actually material that you would need to print out. So those are the weeks that you have to print you may want to only print like the first six, come here and download the first, you know, six or 10 and just do those because I just heard on the book club this last week that they're going to release updates on this fractions in September. And so I have it all printed out all the way through and I'm not going to pay to reprint those. So I'll just have to try to figure out if I'm running into an issue where I think there's a incorrect problem or something that it may be something that was fixed and they don't exactly have an errata because they've never released this so I'm just going to have to come here and check it with the newer version and see if maybe there's just a typo or a mistake if there are any problems. Now fortunately on the complex there's only usually been like one or two problems per week in the pages. Little things like a minus sign is missing and stuff so I don't think I don't foresee a lot of problems but just so you know you may only want to print so many of these and not do a ton yet just in case they update it. And then once you have them all updated, it's really nice because they lay them out by the week number. So here they've named it with the number in the front. They tell you what the topic is and that it's the fractions and it's the student pages. So this is a view of all the student pages together. I have them in one folder, but you can see how big these files are. I mean, four megs, this one's 44, the construction is big also. Um, oh no, maybe not construction, okay. Here, the trig one, 11 statistics, 29 megs. I mean, they must just have a lot of images to them, but um, they are huge. And I would not recommend putting them all in one document because it's just gonna be this huge document. It may never load uh, if you're trying to upload it to some printing service. So I just left them as individual weeks and then I printed it through the homeschoolprintingcompany.com because they are amazing and we've been using them for years. And you can upload each of these individual weeks and then um, they'll print it together and send it to you. And then what I did is, is put the ones together, like I mentioned, weeks two through 14 in one booklet and then the, the other weeks. The other thing I did is when I opened this up, 
you can see that here's the page one, and I kept that because I actually like this as a divider page. Although my older daughter in complex is going to be discussing this page in community, so I don't know that my younger daughter will necessarily be going through this, but I guess we can talk a little bit more about it. And then there was a page in between here, the second page, that was the continuation of the conversation. It's kind of like an essay that talks about this cover page, and I didn't feel that I needed two copies of that. So I deleted that in all of these, and then it just leaves the 16 work pages and the um, solution pages, which are at the end back here. So here you go. Um, you have the solution pages in the back. And the other thing to know, I heard somebody recently on the book club actually also talk about how she printed these up through Staples and did an option where it was booklet format. So instead of having, you know, one page like this be an eight and a half by 11, what it does is it places two pages side by side in like a little booklet format. So what it does is it makes each individual page a little bit smaller. Um, which might be a way to save money because you're putting two pages onto one page. So that's a great option for saving money. It did cost me about $70 to print all of this, but I did it in color. I did it single-sided. Um, and, uh, and as you heard, I did the whole thing. So you don't necessarily have to do all of that, but, um, that would be the cost. And then that's probably the lowest cost. I heard if you tried to do it through staples, it's a lot more. So um, you might want to do it in the booklet format. You could also not do it in color, but I, th I think the color option, and especially on, um, okay, this one doesn't have a lot of colors to it, but our, it is showing you things like blocking the units together when they cancel to one and stuff like that. Um, sometimes when you get into the trig stuff, you have a lot more with, you know, shapes and colors, and I just think it's a nice thing to have it still in the color format. So there you go. There's the feedback on how you find it and how you can print it out.